cold. This is the prison wing of Fort Pale Pass. If you want to get in, I'm the one to grant you access. But I can only grant that access with the authorization of our commander, Legate Priscilius Varro. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, seems authentic. Yeah, that's the Legate's hand, all right. Okay. Head on in, I'll unlock the door. Do whatever you have to do. Oh, I should warn you. Once you head in there, we're putting the fort on high alert. Locking the doors. Just a heads up. This prisoner's been known to get a little... irate during questioning. Don't want him making a break for the exit door. All right, doors open. Good luck in there. Gods know you'll need it. Sorry? I have a bodyguard. Don't worry. Fear for the prisoners instead. Okay. Azok, please come in. Oh well, guess I'll be doing this alone. Oh! Nice one. Don't even think about it, footpad. Hello. up what is it uh. what who are you you are not one of these damned imperial soldiers are you here to rescue me Latus. They don't even exist! An old wives' tale! An old wives' tale! Ha! I'm not going to tell you a thing! Ha! Think I'm scared, Imperial dog? I will never break! Ha! I'm not going to tell you a thing! Guess I have to. Hello. Hi, sup. Ha! You're bluffing! This pellet is Dr. Latus. They don't even exist! An old one! Ha! I'm not going to tell you a thing! Oh, what a cozy inn you My guys have Arnoff. here. Arnoff the Bright-Eyed. Bard by trade. In the mood to be regaled with song? Yes, Orc? Rumors? In Snowstone Rest? Uh, as much as I love the atmosphere here, the inn is hardly all that busy nowadays. Closest thing to a rumor around here is the sound of the hearth. Burning away. Like it always does. Mm, well, I did hear a rumor that there's a Bosmer bard in a tavern near the Skyrim border who's currently looking for work. 
That's you. I heard tell that he's currently employed, but in the arse end of nowhere. So, you know, he's always available. If anyone divines, please, if anyone's interested. Well, actually, I have heard talk of a bizarre little creature running around stealing chickens and pies. Oh, and chicken pies down in the Blackwood. Heard folk down there have taken to calling it the Munchkin. Had your fill of rumors now, have you? Well, heard folk down there have taken to... No! Me? <laughs> I learned back down in Valenwood. I wasn't taught, per se, but ever since I first got my hands on a loot, I knew it was my calling. The feeling as your finger twangs on the loot strings. The thrill of rapturous applause. Uh, that's the life for me. Of course, not many Bosmer get a loot. You gotta import them. Green packed and all that. You can't go cutting down trees in the Valenwood. From Airless? Yeah. Oh. You mean actual rapturous applause though, right? Well, the answer is sadly... Uh, no. <clears throat> not anymore. This place used to be packed with travelers crossing the border in both directions. Since the Skyrim Civil War and the Empire tightening border restrictions, let's just say Snowstone doesn't get much business anymore. Oh, like politics? Uh, well, it's no secret that the Empire and Aldemiri Dominion are plotting against each other, even if neither of them care to admit it. People are doomsaying. Saying that Cyrodiil is about to descend into another great war. I don't know what to make of it. And I don't much like contemplating my own death, so I try not to think about it too much. Bye. Damn it all. Run out of Cyrodiil, all for daring to offend Dorina's band of criminals and cutpurses. What's wrong? I'm being forced to flee my home! That's what's wrong! All because of those damned cutters! I... got on their bad side. Angered the wrong people. Fought a little bit too tirelessly when they attacked the wagon I was escorting. Long story short, I need out of Cyrodiil. They're chasing me as we speak. I just stopped in here to get a bit of Nord fire in my belly for the trip. Actually, I hate to ask this of you, but could you deliver this note to my brother, Holgard? He runs Northern Arms, the smithy in Bruma. Sure. Thank you so much, Traveler. I'd be happy to give you directions to Bruma if you need them. Once you get to the city, just find the smithy, Northern Arms. It's on the north side of town. Best of luck, friend. And thank you. <clears throat> what is it? Hmm? See you around. Ah, your presence warms my lonely bones. Why run an inn in the rear end of the Gerald Mountains? I suppose that's a valid question as any. I built this place, board by board, you know. Well, I should have given old Barney some credit. He was the moral support I needed when the going was tough. Back in the day, this place used to be an absolute hive of activity. Incredibly busy and incredibly lucrative. Lots of patrons and even more coin. You know, travelers going between Cyrodiil and Skyrim and all that. Sadly, the Empire put a stop to that. Instituting tight border control with the outbreak of the Civil War. But Snowstone Rest is, and always has been, my prize. And, in all honesty, my true home. Even if it doesn't get much business these days. My 
my old dog. I love dogs. Most faithful companions a man can have. He died a few years ago. The cold got to him. He never liked the cold. Was used to the temperate climes down south. He was my truest friend. And now he's gone. The customers at least used to distract me, but now I don't even have them. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to leave an offering at his grave, just behind the inn. Something to pay my respects. Remember a lifelong loss, you know. Problem is, I'm not really up to going around and gathering the stuff together. The wilderness is dangerous, and I don't want to die to a timber wolf. Or an ogre, or who knows what else. I'll help. Thank you, traveler. You are truly a generous soul. I'll reward you with what little coin I can spare. Just to say thanks. If you could gather some mother word for me, I'd be able to lay an offering for old Barnius. Just a few should do. Return the mother word to me, and I'll be able to leave an offering and feel a little more at peace for a few more years. Hello. Because the Empire's got the border locked up tighter than a Khajiit skooma horde. Normally, this inn would be a hive of activity as travelers stream down the Gerals, heading to Cyrodiil. Now it's just an inn in the middle of nowhere. And I am alone. Even more so since I lost old Barnius. I am. Especially since I lost old Barnius. Fine companion he was. A fine companion. Actually, I hate to impose, traveler, but if you ever come upon a stray in the wilderness, would you mind? Thinking of me? I don't have much coin to go buying a dog, but I could really use the company. Sure. Bye. If you're in the mood for song, you've come to the right bottler. Hmm? We have a warm hearth. Let's see what I can do. Oh my god. Son of a... Don't. North Fringe Cave discovered. Oh, look at that. The capital. How did I miss that? Okay, never mind. <laughs> 